Hello and welcome back. Last time we created a relationship between the course ID in the course T table with the course in the student T table and we said that the relationship is one to many. That means one course can be done by many students. Now what if a student chooses multiple courses. This actually means that the relationship between course and students is not many to one. It means course can be done by many students but also vice versa many courses can be done by one student. So the relation is actually many to many. Now when you have a relationship like that it has to be broken down into two one-to-many relationships. How is that done? So the first thing we are going to do is delete this relationship. So I'm going to click on it, right click and delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete the selected relationship from your database? Yes. So we delete that. Now we will close this. Do you want to save changes to the layout of the relationships? Yes. Now we will create another table and this table will be a link table. Alright, before we do that we will double click on student and remove this field. The course ID field. So we will click here, right click and delete this. It's right at the bottom. You may not see it here. So I'm going to click and delete it from here. Okay. Do you want to permanently delete the selected fields and all the data in the fields? Yes. So that is deleted. We will save this. We will not worry too much about these queries. We can delete them later on. So we will go to create. We will go to table design. And we will create a student course table. So student course ID. Data type will be an auto number. So I will just press A from the keyboard. Tab and then back here. And now here I'm going to write student ID and this will be a number and it will come from the student table. Press tab and next field will be course ID. Before I do that let me just check in the course table how it is written. So it is courses ID. Okay. So courses ID tab this will also be a number and now our table is finished. This is basically going to be a link table between the course table and the student table and it will help us to create two relationships and we will convert the many to many relationship between course and students to two one to many relationships. So I'm going to right click on the table, save. I'll give this a name. So I'll call it student course T and OK. So it says there is no primary key defined. We'll say yes, you define it for us. And of course, it's going to take the student course ID because this is an outro number. So we'll close all these tables. Close all. We'll go to our database tools. Go to relationships. And here we have these two tables already. And at present there is no relationship. 
let me just reduce this a little bit here like this so that we can have some more tables here so I'm going to click on show table so we will take the student course table add and close now we can build a relationship from this table to this table because we have the course ID so I'm just going to click this drag here and leave this and edit relationships window pops up and it shows you one to many relationship so we'll go to the ref enforce referential integrity and we'll say create so a link is created do you see that one to many similarly I can click here and drag this to the ID here and again we have a one to many relationship between the student table and the student course table I will enforce the referential integrity and create so we have created now a link table between these two tables because these two tables cannot be directly linked they have a many to many relationship now we will populate this table with some data all right we'll now close the relationships tab here we'll click here and it asks us do you want to save changes to the layout of relationships yes of course so we'll click yes we will go to our student course table double click on it and we have no data here but we can take some data from the student t table okay so we can say for example student one takes the course one okay tab you saw that error appeared because by mistake instead of writing one I wrote 10 and because we have enforced referential integrity the student ID 10 doesn't exist so you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in table student T so we'll say ok and we'll delete this now you have immediately seen the advantage of using enforce referential integrity so we'll go here we'll go to news let's say student 2 also takes course 1 student 3 student 4 takes course 2 student 5 takes course 2 student 6 takes course 1 one and I can go on adding because I know the moment this number doesn't match the number in students ID table or students table this will give me an error see you get that error so you know you have reached the end of your table so we will just delete this record All right. Now we will save this. Now let us create a query. All right. So we will go to. First of all, let me close everything here. Close all. So we will go to create query design. And now I'll press the Control key and select all the tables. Add, close okay so I'll bring course here student here this is these are constraints when you're recording so I will just pull this grid here so that you can see the grid I will like earlier double click on the ID first name so this comes here if I click last name it will come here now I want to know which course these students are doing so I will click on the course name and that's it that's what I want I want to know which student is doing which course 
if I want it, we could delete this. For example, we could select this. So you select this and just press the delete key from the keyboard. Okay, that's what I did for deleting the ID. Now let me run the query. So I'll click on run here. And there you see, we get the results like earlier. I'll first save this query. I'll right click on it, save. And we'll call this student course Q. So the course the student takes, okay. Let me also now introduce you to the concept of the form. So I click on the student table here, go to create and click on form here, okay. And you'll see that a form has been created. The form structure has been created and you can see all the students are shown here. So if I click on the last one here, last record, it will go to the last record and give us these details, all the details of the student and also includes the student course. Let me just expand this little bit. So student course ID is 8 and course the student has taken is 2. Now let's say this student takes another course. Okay. So we'll click here, press the tab key. We'll go here and let's say I write 1 here. Okay. All right. And we will save this now. So we will right click on this and save. We will call it student form student f okay and now i'm just going to close this form and i'll go to our student course table go to the student course table here double click on this and there you see entry has been made in the student course id in the student course table number 10 and the student remains 8 and the course he has now opted for is 1 and earlier he had course 2. So if I now go to my queries, let me see student course query here. I'll just double click on this. And you can see here that Camilla Smith, who is the number 8 student, is properly represented. This would not happen with the earlier single relation that we had between the student and the course. All right. So I can, I don't even need to run this query. It shows you here that it is nine of nine. All right. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.